Hello, chemistry students. Today we will be continuing our qualitative analysis experiment with the carbonate group or group four. The ions we will be testing for in this group are barium, calcium, and magnesium. Let's get started. We will begin this procedure with a test solution containing our barium, calcium, and magnesium ions. We could also begin this procedure with the S9 solution that would have been set aside during the analysis of the ammonium sulfide group or group three. We will start by adding one milliliter of three molar ammonium chloride to our sample and then heating our sample in a hot water bath. To our hot solution, we will add three molar ammonium carbonate dropwise until just basic. We will then add one milliliter in excess of three molar ammonium carbonate. We will mix the solution well and let it stand for five minutes to complete any precipitation. We will then centrifuge our solution. This is what our mixture looks like after centrifugation. We will save our solution for the analysis of magnesium ion in a new test tube labeled S14. We will relabel our residue as R14. We will now perform the test for barium ion. We will begin by washing residue R14 with one milliliter of deionized water, then centrifuging and discarding the wash liquid. We will next add five drops of six molar acetic acid to our residue R14, and we will warm in a hot water bath to dissolve the carbonates. We will then add five drops of three molar ammonium acetate and dilute the solution to one milliliter with deionized water. We will next add three drops of one molar potassium chromate to our solution. We will then warm and agitate the mixture and centrifuge. This is what our mixture looks like after centrifugation. We will decant the solution into a new test tube labeled S15 and save the solution for the analysis of calcium ion. We will relabel our precipitate of barium chromate as R15. We will next dissolve the yellow precipitate R15 with two to three drops of six molar hydrochloric acid. We will then dilute to two milliliters with deionized water. We will then add one to two drops of three molar sulfuric acid. A white precipitate of barium sulfate will confirm the presence of barium ion.
The white precipitate of barium sulfate confirms the presence of barium ion. We will now perform the test for calcium ion. To solution S15, we will add 10 drops of one molar potassium oxalate. We will then add six molar ammonia dropwise until the solution is basic. The formation of a white precipitate of calcium oxalate indicates the presence of calcium ion. The formation of the white precipitate of calcium oxalate confirms the presence of calcium ion. We will now perform the test for magnesium ion. To solution S14, we will add one milliliter of six molar ammonia, and then we will add 0.5 milliliters of one molar sodium dihydrogen phosphate, and we will stir for five to 10 minutes. A white precipitate of magnesium ammonium phosphate hexahydrate is a preliminary indicator of magnesium. After 10 minutes, we will centrifuge our mixture and discard the liquid. We will then wash our precipitate with deionized water, centrifuge again, and discard the wash liquid. We will next dissolve our precipitate by adding several drops of six molar hydrochloric acid and one milliliter of deionized water. We will then add one drop of magnesium reagent. We will then make the solution alkaline with the addition of six molar sodium hydroxide. The blue flocculant confirms the presence of magnesium ion. Okay, students, that concludes our test for the carbonate group ions, or group four. Thank you for joining me for this experiment.